Nintendogs Lab and Friends. It's such a sweet, innocent game. I, I had gotten the game years ago. I, I was so excited. I had bought a Red Cavalier KC Spaniel when I first started my file. I named her Noodle. She was so sweet. I, I would spend hours with her, training my sweet little puppy, feeding her, bathing her. I played the game almost non-stop when I got the cartridge that one cold day. I had gotten many other dogs on the game, but only three stayed with me at all times. The three were Noodle, along with, Shel uh, along with Shelly, a, a miniature dash hound, and Draco, a German Shepherd. They would cheer me up when I was down. They, would, they could make me happy even during my darkest hours. I loved them so much. They, they were my best friends, as silly as it sounds. It's almost as if they were... Alive. But time went by. I slowly... I was slowly growing out in ten dogs and... It was almost as if they could sense that I was going to leave them. I was starting to play many different games. I began to get on the computer more often. I was starting to watch more TV. Slowly but surely, Nintendogs had been forgotten and replaced. Replaced with bigger and better things. Years later, I was digging through my games. Not to play them, no. To sell them. I didn't want to sell any of my games, but I had to. My mom needed money. I froze as my hands brushed against a small game cartridge. I blinked, picking it up and dusting it off. Nintendogs. I smiled. <laughs> Boy, had I missed this game. The last time I played it was before my best friend left me. I stood up, still holding the cartridge. My mom was out of the house at the time, so I was free to play it. I grabbed my DSi and sat down on my bed. Pushed a small square into the system, a small click echoing throughout my room. I started at the startup icon. It looked odd. There was no cute little Labrador puppy on it. It was, it was just a completely red screen. I shrugged it off. Just an error, nothing too major. I tapped the screen and watched the icon disappear as it faded out into the game showed the normal Nintendo logo against a white screen, but the writing on the bottom half was gone. Was this normal? Yeah, yeah, it had to be. It was just, it's just my mind playing tricks on me. But instead of a normal happy bark welcoming me, it was just silence. My eyes widened as I saw, and instead of seeing the normal happy beach scene, sand was, was covered with bones turtle organs of what seemed to be other dogs. The sky was blood red, and more bones and other severed body parts scattered the ocean, making it red also. Swallowing hard, I looked around for my dogs. I almost, I almost wish I hadn't. The, the minute I started looking, I heard a soft whining noise. Noodle laid there covered in blood, my, my mouth went dry as the realization hit me. The bones and body parts were parts of Draco and Shelly. I, this was not normal, not at all. My eyes filled with tears. I, I frantically held my thumb on the power button. The DS system cannot be turned off at this time. What? What did it mean? I, I shuddered. Tossing my DSi across the room, it made a loud thud as it hit the wall. I made a dash for the door. Putting my hand on the doorknob, I, I jiggled it, but it wasn't moving. My door didn't have a lock either. I opened my mouth to scream, but nothing came out. Sobbing silently, I pressed I pressed my back against the door, closing my eyes. After a few minutes of sobbing, I I calmed down. I, everything was silent. Maybe my DSi had turned itself off. Maybe I broke it. I didn't care. I just wanted it out. An icy chill went up my spine. I heard a few barks coming from my DSi. Hesitantly, I slowly walked towards it. Noodle was standing in front of the screen. 
holding a leash in her mouth. Noodle would like to take you for a walk. I quivered. I never said anything like that before. I shakily picked up my DS. I get a good look at Noodle. Her eyes were gone. There was nothing left but her eye socket. Blood covered her face, and some skin and fur was missing. Sobbing, I tapped the no option on the screen. The screen faded to white, leading me to the route screen. It looked normal, but besides the route ink, it was blood red. It automatically made its own route. Is this the route you'll take? I frantically clicked the no option. Listen. Noodle and I started to walk. I stared at the screen in horror. All the buildings, they were on fire. Body parts of a, humans and, and dogs alike were scattered all over the sidewalk. Noodle stopped at a dead puppy and started to eat it. I continued sobbing as she dragged me through the terrifying scene. Noodle barked. Oh no. Another dog. The screen faded to white for a few seconds before showing me a new screen. Maggie is out for a walk. Instead of a cute little Yorkie jumping around, it was a decaying skeleton with still some rotting flesh on it. Chantel has some stern words for you. I gulped, clicking the red arrow. Your dogs are dead, Jason. Every one's dogs are dead. It's all your fault. I watched in terror as Noodle lunged forward, gnawing at the dead body of Maggie. It's time to say goodbye to Chantel. Noodle doesn't seem to like Maggie very much. The screen faded out, and back into Noodle and I walking. After a few minutes of walking, she barked once, running out of sight. She came back with a red and white present. Noodle must have found something. She's bringing it to you. You got a dog's skull. Noodle excitedly pawed at the screen. This skull belonged to a local neighborhood puppy. I continued to cry silently as Noodle dragged me through more terror. It seemed like it took forever, but we were soon back home. I finally managed to open my mouth and talk. Wow. Why are you doing this to me? I choked out, my voice very scratchy. Noodle stared up at the screen. Noodle has waited for three years for you to come back. I gulped. But you never came. Suddenly, what was left of Noodle's fur and skin slowly started to melt off. I'll make you suffer. Soon, it was just a skeleton left. Just like I did. And just like that, the skeleton collapsed to the ground. My DSI turned off. Sobbing hysterically, I ripped the game out of my system and tossed it in the trash. Suddenly, my door slowly creaked open. Without thinking twice, I bolted out of my room. I never want to play Nintendogs again.